Hey guys, I'm Paul from Contact Renovation and Custom Homes. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday, where we take you on a bit of a tour of what we're up to this week. So here we are, we're in a finished home and we're making some changes. So you can see this is a lived in place. And here we have started pulling this apart. Why, you asked? We are moving the laundry from the basement up to the second floor. This is a pretty common request nowadays. It's far more convenient um, to have access to your laundry up on the living space. So in this case, that's what we've done. So um, in this particular home, we had this existing plumbing stack right here we're able to tie into. So that's where we're able to run our new plumbing up to above us here where the new laundry is. So we have our water lines, our drainage, our electrical, all runs within a bulkhead we framed here. We've actually furred this wall out so that when we finish it with drywall, it'll look just like a regular wall and not like a bonus bulkhead was built. So it'll be quite nicely concealed. And you can see in here, we have all electrical plumbing roughings in there. That'll get all buttoned up. I'll take you upstairs and show you what is going on up there. So here, you know, we are in a occupied finished home. So there's some precaution that goes into it here with floor protection. We have some hardwood stairs here. So we've got this nice ram guard uh, stair protection in place. Bear with me as we cruise up here. Whoa, as I fall down up the stairs. Okay, so here we have, um, what used to be two closets. So this is the new laundry room and this used to be a closet for a bedroom uh, and a second closet, which was a, uh, like a linen closet from the, at the end of the hallway. So we've blown this out now to make one larger space for laundry. We're in the process now of sound insulating this space for obvious reasons, it's the laundry up on the second floor. So we've sound insulated the floor uh, down to below, which is the kitchen area, as well as the walls that are backing onto adjacent bedrooms. So in here, you can see here, we've got our uh, recessed laundry box. Uh, we've got a recessed um, vent tie-in to vent the exhaust to the exterior. And here we have uh, kind of an emergency drain we've added in case there ever is a bit of an overflow from the washer. So there you go. And we also have then room here for a laundry sink coming in. So that'll be a nice addition to this uh, second floor. And then we have a bit of a reconfiguration as well going into these bedrooms. So we've swapped the location of what, you, what used to be an office and a bedroom. So now here we'll have a nice big um, closet for the bedroom. And on the flip side, we reconfigured it so that from the office side here, let's take you over there. Hard to tell with the walls just exposed framing, but this will be the office. And here there'll be basically a little recessed cubby for the printers and everything in the office. And then from the hallway side, now we're gonna have another linen closet. And there's our green sticker for our past inspection. And then we have one more room where we do some configuration changes where a homeowner had previously removed a wall between two rooms. So we're adding a wall back in to divide um, one other room from the adjacent room. In doing so, we did happen to find a couple surprises in the floor, what was previously buried by the other homeowner, which are the cold air returns that do service the second floor. So now we can at least have those functioning again, which will help overall comfort in the home. Anyhow, there you go. That's what's up this Wednesday. Tune in next week. Thanks for checking us out. I'm Paul from Contact Renovation and Custom Homes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels. Have a great day.